Welcome to WWE 2K23. We are doing my GM mode. My GM mode is going to be insane and crazy for you guys. And I'm going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to do a lot of simulating. We might watch some matches here and there. But I'm going to keep you guys updated with the story myself. And I'll let you know what's going on as we go week by week by week through my GM mode. This episode, welcome. We are going to be Xavier Woods. We are going to be running SmackDown. That's what we're doing. Our opponents that we're competing against in GM mode are going to be Eric Bischoff, Sonya Deville, and Mick Foley for each of their brands, respectively, WCW, Raw, and NXT 2.0. I figure Mick Foley's goofy-looking ass can run NXT 2.0. So, here we are. We're going to jump right in. We're going to do the draft. And we're going to hop in. We're going to start with a lot of money. We're going to do our difficulties as normal. Let's do this thing. Auto draft is off. Shakeups are going to be on. Straight order. Here we go. Are you guys ready for this? I'm excited for season one. Um, we're jumping right in to our draft. And we have the first overall pick. Okay. Um, so with our first overall pick in the draft who's going to be who's going to be running our our brand who's going to be the top of our brand i feel like the person that we're going to have to watch out for and really pay a lot of close attention to man oh we got to spend the money you know who i don't i don't see like where's like seth rollins where's uh, there's Seamus down there. Damian Priest is in there. Is that nobody else is drafted yet? Okay, so I mean, where are all these guys? Okay, anyways, we're gonna take Finn Balor. I feel like he's gonna be our staple. WCW is going after Becky Lynch. Ronda Rousey goes to Raw. And Alexa Bliss. They're all going women. Women went fast. Women went fast. Oh no. We're going to go Big E. Because he's going to be a good uh, opponent for uh, Finn Balor to battle it out with. Oh, they're going. The women are going so quickly. This is not good, you guys. Um, oh, do we just stick with like. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're going to grab the queen. We got Charlotte Flair. I'm okay with having Charlotte Flair. A lot of people don't like Charlotte. I love Charlotte. I think she's going to be just fine in our brand. I think she can run it. And if Rhea Ripley's still there, baby, that's who we're going to have her with. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, we got to grab Mommy. Mommy, Rhea Ripley. It's going to be running the women as well. So now we have our top two men and our top two women for our brand. And, man, um, we're, going to have to swap. we're going to have to flip one of them as well, I believe. Um, do we want to go with The Miz? Do we want to get The Miz out there? Should we go with The Miz? I like, I like Champa. I'm a fan of Montez Ford. Mm. I like Robert Roode, but I like Champa, and I don't want to take the chance of missing out on all Braun Breakers out there, too. All right, give me Montez. Give me Montez Ford. I'll take Montez. And if... I was like, The Miz would be fun to have, too. We got the Miz. We got the Miz. We got the Miz. We got the Miz. So we now we got four dudes and two women. These people are they're flying off the map right now. And I've kind of learned in doing this like once before. I did kind of a rough run through. Do we go Angelo Dawkins just to get the tag team? 
I need to get another woman. Oh, let's go. I got Bailey. Um, I feel like we're going to be... It's going to get tough. Oh, they got Angelo Dawkins. Dang, they grabbed him right before I had a chance to. Okay, so we got three women. They're all bad people, bad women. They're all heels. Um, I'll take Liv Morgan. I got Liv. I'll take Liv. Who else do we got down in here? Who else is kind of running the show down here? Somebody went for Akira Tozawa. Like, they're just going to do that. Mm. I got four men, four women. Oh, Angel Garza, JD McDonough, Mustafa Ali, Commander Aziz, Braun Breaker. <sighs> is there anybody else down here? Anybody else that I need to know about? That I'm missing out on like Carmelo Hayes is down there. I like Carmelo Hayes down there too. He's cheap. He's cheap. If he's there on the next round, I'll grab him. But I feel like you can't really. I feel like I gotta go with Braun. Let's go Braun. I'll get Braun. I'll grab Braun Breaker. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do some work with Braun. This is like the next wave, man. I don't see Sami Zayn. I didn't see the Usos. Where are all these guys at? Why are there only certain people in, in the draft here? And certain of them not. I mean, it's okay. It doesn't bother me too, too terribly. I gotta get some good guys up in here. Rick Boos. I'll take Carmelo because he's less expensive than some of these other guys that are out here okay so now I feel like I gotta get a couple more women and then I can be done four five six if I can get two more women I think I'll be okay because I'll have six men six women to kind of run things to start out here and who do I have for women I got Charlotte Rhea Bailey and Liv Morgan. Let's grab Indy. Cora Jade. I can grab Roxanne Perez. I feel like Cora Jade is going to be... Let's grab her. She's less expensive too, which would be nice for us to have. And one more woman, and then we'll kind of see what's left, and if we really want to, oh. Yes, please. I'll take her. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, I think we're good. I got six and six right now. Let's take a look at the overall roster. Is there anybody else in here that's really worth it that we want to take a chance on I feel like I got enough just to kind of start the roster plus I have money left over to like produce the shows I mean Loomis maybe is worth it but I mean I don't know if Tyler Bate is he's less expensive I need a worker. Who up here has the most stamina left? Look at Mustafa Ali, but he's also the most expensive, of course. All right, let me see. Shotzi's got a lot of stamina, and she's less expensive. West Lee's got something. I feel like Mustafa Ali might be the way to go here, just because he has 90 stamina. I could use them. I could use them in a pinch to kind of throw something together. These guys are all like they're all these are uh, brands right now. Are they're not slowing down? They're just keeping on going here. 
Maybe I can grab another woman. And I mean, Shotzi's got a lot of uh, stamina. So I could use her as kind of a worker, too. So this episode is a draft with you guys. And then the next episode you see will be week one, our premiere episode of SmackDown. So maybe one more. I could do one more of each. Why not? Let's do one more of each just to have something in the tank. I can build these guys up and kind of let them sit and build up their staminas. Like, what about Tyler Bate? He's kind of fun. He's fun to watch. He's fun to watch, and he's the least expensive on the board left. What do I got left for for monies? Five eleven. All right, who's the cheapest one? <laughs> Jaqueline Wild, Jacqueline Wild. Or should we save the money now at this point? And we will... I think that's it. I'm good. We're going to be done. We're going to end our draft at this point. SmackDown is bowing out. We have got enough pieces for our pie. WCW has completed their draft as well. Look at who they got. Oh, my Lord. They got some big names on their team. Oh, my goodness. Who else? Raw has bowed out. They got Logan Paul. They got Gunther, Carmella, Bianca Belair, Ronda Rousey, Elias. And NXT 2.0, baby. I'm not scared about that. Look at, I'm not scared about NXT 2.0. <laughs> they do not have the strongest roster. I mean, I'm not scared about that as much. I feel like WCW has a great roster. I feel like Raw has a pretty great roster. I feel like SmackDown is loaded as well. We're ready, folks. Now we move on. And I start putting together the first week. And... That's what it's going to be. We are four weeks away from SummerSlam. We got a message from our the owner of Triple H, CEO. He's wondering about our first week. We're obviously born for it. Yes, sir. Liv Morgan back in Newark. Can't wait to put on a show for my crowd. We are in the hometown of Liv Morgan, so we've got to make sure we put her on a on a map and I gotta select our champions so let's subtract so uh, select our champions currently the current universal champion the current universal champion for Smackdown is Biggie no it's not it's gonna be yeah it's Biggie Biggie is the man and then for women, the current woman's champion is going to be Rhea Ripley. No? No. It's going to be Charlotte Flair. Charlotte Flair is the current women's champion. All right, folks. This is it. We got four more shows and we're at SummerSlam. Stick with me. Here we are. Welcome to WWE 2K23, my GM mode. I, I hope you guys are excited because like, what you're about to witness and what you're about to see is something that I'm very, very excited to do. And so let's do this thing together. I'm going to see you guys next time. Have a good night.